Next stop on today's Wild West, Old Tucson, where many a favorite Western was filmed. Great Western wall art, photography books, and more at todayswildwest.com. It's so fun and amazing. <laughs> they have gunfight shows. <laughs> but no one gets hurt. Welcome to Old Tucson. It's magical. I'm 11 years old mentally. What do you think? You walk through here. Tucson, Arizona's movie studio and theme park that's been putting the Old West on the silver screen since 1939, when William Holden and Gene Arthur came here to film the movie Arizona. Members of the local Papago Indian tribe helped to make more than 350,000 adobe bricks used to recreate the Tucson of the 1860s, with more than 50 buildings, many of which still stand today. In the years that followed, Old Tucson became one of Hollywood's top western locations, and today you can stand right where the stars did when they made those classic films. John Wayne got shot in the leg. He came across the bridge. He was standing right here. John Wayne, Jimmy Stewart, Paul Newman, Clint Eastwood, just a few of the stars who've worked here. Anyone here remember who played the Indian chief in that movie? And the tour guides are as thrilled as anyone else to walk in their footsteps. 69, early 70, John Wayne made his final film for Old Tucson, Rio Lobo. Another gunfight that happened once again right behind that building. I have a passion for Western movies, you know, and, and all the characters that worked out here, all the famous people. I never dreamed I'd get to walk up and down the same streets that Randolph Scott and Audie Murphy did, you know, so it's a lot of fun. We're going to head over this way, folks. More than 300 movies and TV shows have been shot here. The last scene in Tombstone, Kurt Russell and Danny Delaney danced in the snow at night. They shot that scene right over here. It was 92 degrees. And they were dancing on plastic snow when they shot <laughs> Old Tucson was home base for the High Chaparral TV show of the 1960s. That's the main ranch house used in the show. And towering above it is Golden Gate Peak. That is very recognizable. You'll see it in over 350 productions. One more movie I'll mention is a movie called Cannonball Run 2. If you remember this movie, at the end they're at a hotel having a big fight. Look real close, folks. You're looking right at Golden Gate Mountain in the background. All they did was cover up the mission and made it look like a hotel. In the studio's train, the Reno, is a real locomotive from 1872. Its passengers once included Presidents Ulysses S. Grant and Teddy Roosevelt. What's known as the most photographed locomotive in American history has starred in about 100 movies and TV shows. It's been in movies like The Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean, The Gambler, Posse, Tombstone, Joe Kidd. Right there is where Kurt Russell got off the train station in the great movie Tombstone. And right out here is where he killed Frank Stillwell. Back in the 30s and 40s, it's been the train. Today you can take an excursion train on a loop around the old Tucson property. On the street, there's lots of entertainment. I'm uh, one of the actors out here, so we do about five different shows every day. I want to talk about saloons of the Old West. And you can actually learn about the real Old West during your visit, like this fun history lesson on that frontier institution, the saloon. I got to tell you, there was an outlaw, a guy named Bob Younger, hung around with a kid named Jesse James. And he said, we're rough men with rough ways. And you couple that with alcohol and firearms, and I'll tell you what, there was usually a little bit of excitement in the saloon. Cat, get back here. Check doors. Come on. Thank you. And the grand finale is the lighthearted but very impressive stunt show the studio puts on with all the action you'd expect to see in any first-rate Western. Oh, my God, that's what you're doing. Old Tucson is still a working movie studio. The new movie Hot Bath and a Stiff Drink is among the latest westerns to shoot here at a legendary location rich in history where those who love this place still feel its magic every day. If you are interested in any kind of western cowboy, western movies, western films, this place is amazing. I'll tell you what, come some morning before we open up, get a guest pass, stand on the palace with a cup of coffee and look down the street when nobody's here. You'll get the idea how cool this place is. That's it for now. We're back next time with more cool stuff from today's Wild West. I'm Mark Bedore. We'll see you down the trail. 
For more information on the people and places featured in Today's Wild West, or to order show DVDs and books, visit todayswildwest.com. Thank you.